I did a rambling while ambling this morning, but I was not pleased with it, so you don't get to see it. Uh, I want to. I want to start off. Maybe you can finish up, depending on how long it takes me, with my position on rapists and child molesters, felons in general. My position on them is that once they have done their time, once they have repaid their debt to society in whatever form society has deemed appropriate, then they should be allowed back into society and they should have those rights that we have, as a society believe should be restored to them, restored to them. And they should be allowed to have jobs and all that other fun stuff. They should not be discriminated against for being an ex, a felon, unless it is a reasonable thing to do. Like you don't want rapists to work at schools or in battered women's facilities, you know what I mean? Now, as a community, I think we are foolish to welcome, to associate ourselves with felons, especially the naughty felons, the, the rapists and child molesters. Those tend to get a special level of scrutiny and hatred. And if you associate yourself with some, someone like that, it can rub off on you. You can be smeared, just like First Amendment auditing is currently being smeared by the, by the crimes that that person did that are unassociated with the community. We are not a... Appearances to the contrary... Uh, we're not a community of child molesters, even though there seems to be quite a few child molesters in the community. But we're not a community of child molesters. So I know it's a I know it's a distinction, but you should mark it. Felons, once they have repaid their debt to society, should be allowed back into society with most of their rights restored. But they should not be welcomed into communities and associated with unless you're not worried about them tainting the appearance of the community. <clears throat> I hope everybody can pick that up. Now, there are some people who think that my position on Warden has changed. It has not. I don't care that he was a rapist. I don't care. He's paid his debt to society. I do care that he's a liar because that affects people in this community and I am making videos about this community. He tells people bad law. He edits out that he gives ID. He makes it appear that he's not doing nothing when he's doing stuff. He lies. He lies in the community. And that causes harm to the community. Now, as far as the community goes, I don't care that he's a child rapist. I mean, again, it looks bad on the community to have associated ourselves so closely with this child rapist, or alleged child rapist, I should say. Because he has not been convicted yet. And he may not be, so don't don't get your panties in too big of a wad too fast. I think it has done us harm as a community to associate with him. But he's he's not out there raping auditors or their families, to the best of my knowledge. So my biggest issue with him in this community is that he's a liar. Now I don't like child rapists. If he is, in fact, a child rapist, my position will be, once he's done his time, he should be allowed back into society. 
and he should have some of his rights restored, not all. But as a community at that time in the future, we should probably not associate ourselves with him. This is not rocket science. I'm a big believer in justice. And justice does need to be served. Earl needs to face justice if he has, in fact, committed the crimes. And I personally think he did commit them. I don't know this, but now that we've all had a chance to watch that video of, of him being interviewed by the police, it makes perfect sense that he did it. It also shows that he is a congenital liar. The man, the man is claiming to have hunted Nazis in South America for some agency that he can't disclose the name of because uh, he has a, a, uh, an agreement with them, a confidentiality agreement with them. Don't piss on my back and tell me it's raining. Those cops knew he was lying. We knew he was lying, or you should have if, you, if you're still buying that shit, you're retarded. The boy's got a GED. He's not working as a contractor for the government. This ain't the movies. Come on, man. <clears throat> it is amazing to me, though, that, that some people actually <clears throat> still buy his bullshit. Speaking of which, Tiny Grisham, the, uh, the claimed master interrogator, he thinks those cops were, were actually thinking that they'd get a confession. I, I, I have a feeling that C.J. Grisham was trained in interrogation, but I, I don't think he's a, a master interrogator. It's, it's not the movies. It's not the movies. They, they don't always confess. It's rare that they confess. And the cops got what they wanted. They saw his reactions. They saw he's a liar. He gave them leads. And it also explains, it also explains why it took so long. Uh, it took a long time because, number one, apparently HPD dropped the ball some 20 years ago. 20 three years ago in 1996 when it was reported they dropped the ball the case got referred to them for whatever reason it got shuffled to the bottom of the pile got misplaced got lost whatever who knows i don't know but then but then when they started digging on him they found it and and no it's not retaliation they, they're digging because he had he had allegations made against him. That's why they dig. They didn't they didn't make him rape. They're not making up these rape allegations. They found the rape allegations because they dug. It's not a setup. It's not retaliation. It's doing their due diligence. So once they find it in 2017, late 2017, then they've got to interview all these people. They've got to get the records. They've got, they've got to get the psychologist reports. They've got to get uh, military, his military psychology reports. They've got to, they've got to hunt down the, the guy that they, that he said raped one of his daughters. They've got to, or was sleeping with her, with her when she was underage. I mean, they've, they've got to, they've got to do all this digging. They've got to try to find the, the uh, detective who was lead detective on the case. They've got to um, try to find the uh, polygraph people. They've got to do all these things. Uh, the, apparently he had some uh, private polygraph company. Um, HPD referred him to a an outside polygraph company. And so he's got to find them. The cops have to find them. Have them go back through the records. It's going to take a long time. That's why. That's why it took a year for them to bring charges because I have a feeling and I could be wrong but considered he, considering he is a multiple time felon who's been in and out of jail all of his life I have a feeling that they have dotted their I's and crossed their T's and they're going to pin him 
if it's at all possible. Anyway, that's what you get for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.